Hello everyone, welcome to Caroline's Craftery. Today we have Thrifty Canucks and just some goodies that I got from the Lions Club today. So, in case you don't know, the Lions Club in a local town next to me, they have a yard sale type thing that runs from April to September. And I usually go every Friday and I meet up with my sisters, we shop, then we go for breakfast, etc. But this is what I found today. Now, Intermediate Western Horsemanship. Now these, this here one is from 1960. <clears throat> I didn't even know they had the Western Horsemen way back then. But they are pretty cool. Lots of, of course, great horse images. And I thought, well, it'd be good for farming journal, horse journals, western journals, etc. So I grabbed them, and they are in wonderful, brand new shape. So, and there is three of them. This one is from 1960 as well. And then there's this one here, which is actually 1959. So it's like 65 years old already. So that is, those are awesome. Not, oh, this one is actually horseshoeing and hoof care. Oh, beginning, beginning Western horsemanship, intermediate Western horsemanship. So they're all a little bit different, but all the same. So those were pretty cool. I got this here, it's typewriter paper. It's already discolored and whatnot. And it's actually fairly heavy. So there's a whole whole book pad of that. Nice colored edges and whatnot. We got these here. There was another book. I don't know what happened to it, but it's somewhere. Anyways, these are pattern charts. Now, oh, and a napkin, little bonus item, but they say 1988, these are from, but I just thought they, it was nice paper, it's blank on the one side, so if nothing else I could use it for backing, but there is going to be lots of these, I could use them for pages, in a journal, plus there's these big, dirty envelopes. <laughs> you can really see how colored that is there. But they're pretty cool, and so there's quite a few, and they've all, makes me wonder if any of the other ones have anything in them other than the pattern. And of course they open up really big, like, uh, it's going to open one up. They're probably, well, four feet by two or three feet. That one, that one opened up that much, but anyways, there's all kinds of um, paper and all this stuff, that's for sure. Just put that in. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now this one almost, let's see, this one feels like it's got a bunch of other stuff in it. Let's just pull that out and see what there is. Other than the patterns. We have, oh, a couple of dried flowers. That's cool. I'll put those into my dried flower pack. Now, these are from the same company, but they're still sealed. They've never been opened. There's material. There's a little bit of lace. Looks like some elastic. And you make something. Um, bloomers, okay. 
So that one's for bloomers. We've got more lace in this one. And again, it's sealed. It's never been opened. Some ribbon, some fabric. And this makes a hood. Okay. And this one is going to make Lillian's dress. So Lillian must have been a doll, maybe. This has got a nice little pink piece of material. Some um, bias tape and couple snaps so there we go so we can make Lillian an outfit so it's kind of fun I, I didn't realize those were in there now clothes are something that I normally don't buy in a thrift shop or something because I just don't like buy, spending the money and then cutting it all up but we've got this here it's a kid's dress, but it's got beautiful lace on it. And at the Lions, I mean, they pretty much give the clothes away. They just want to get rid of them. So there's lots of lace bits and pieces. This was actually in the costume box. So I can take it all apart and underneath is like a silky type material. So I'll be able to use that for maybe flowers or something. So I'll take that apart. And then there is this. Now this is yellow, very yellow, very silky. The inside has like a, I don't know what you'd call it. it it's almost cheesecloth-y, but not really but so that'll come in handy for different things so i will take all this apart but the reason i got this and it's it's a skirt is it's got this bright pink silver gold trim really really nice now i'm going to take that all off i'm i want to make a couple of bright boho style journals and I don't have too much that's really like bright and because I'm always going for that vintage look and I want to try to step out of my comfort zone a little bit and do something really bright bright so I thought that would be a good addition to my little collection I'm hoping it all comes apart like as one piece once I take the two rolls of rows of stitching out we will see. I'll do a little bit and then um, I'll go from there. But this will take a while and then the yellow will, should be really good for like flowers and stuff. So we'll see. But there'll be lots of that because it's a pretty big skirt. Just put that over to the side. I kind of emptied my bag and I put everything into this bin over here just to make it easier to grab. I got this here and it's got three different pockets. So the red pocket's this big, the gray one's that big, and the white one's that big. Um, I thought it might be good to take to my retreats and stuff to put little goodies in, you know, maybe pens, pencils, etc. Now here's the other book that I got. Now this is from 1980 and it's just like a writing paper, <clears throat> but it's all trains and it looks like, <clears throat> excuse me, there is a few different prints, looks like maybe five different ones. But this would be really good in a steampunk or a masculine journal or something. So I like that. Five ninety five for this. Whoever bought it. I don't usually get too much music paper anymore because I have lots and lots of it. But this is for like an old organ, you know, where you you just press the. The, the keys like the keys would have letters and 
and it's all Christmas songs. So I grabbed that just because it was a little bit different and I liked how big the music lines were. So to me it was a little bit different so I grabbed it. 1984 it says so it's not like old or anything. I guess technically it is old but it doesn't seem old because I'm old. I've seen these. Now these are kind of, um, they're not your typical paper napkins. These almost feel like a cloth. And they're actually Christmassy. There's a bell, but I just, I like how they felt. They're very thin. You can see how thin they are. But just because they didn't feel like paper, I grabbed those. What else did I get? Oh, these were just, <laughs> these were laying on a table and, you know, they're, they're not like ancient or anything. But I thought they would be really cool in a journal. Now, postage was five cents for these, so... They're definitely not new, but I just thought they were kind of cute and, and would look fun in a journal. And then there was these. These these originally came from the dollar store. A couple things were gone, but these are rub-ons. So I grabbed those two. Okay. Then I found these. Now these are like um, Petty Point or something like that. It's like cross stitch, but really small. <clears throat> and they've only gone like one way, like they've gone here to, you know. But there's this lovely lady. And then there's this guy. So I thought they would look good on a tag or on the cover of a journal or something like that. Got to grab these things while well, we can. We got a few little doilies. This one here is definitely hand done with a cute flower in the middle. Then we got this one here with variegated. This one here is a bit dirty, but I'll wash these by hand before I put them away, a little round one. This one here is quite thick. And then there was this patch. Oh, so now I got two pieces of stuff, but Junior Sportsman Safety Conservation, BC Federation Fish and Game Clubs. And it, it's like a felt. So I thought that would be good for a masculine journal or something to grab these things while you can. I got some bottle caps. Now I watched Kim do some stuff with bottle caps and I seen these here. These are new and they're supposed to be for you know when you bottle your beer or whatever. So I grabbed them just so I had some. So these are all like brand new. What else we got? We got another scarf. I kind of like the colors on this one. So I'll add that to my scarves for making flowers and whatnot, which I got to get busy and do. You get a lot of yardage on a scarf. Like this scarf is probably two yards long and probably mm, foot and a half wide. But this kind of reminds me of one... Um, I've never been to one, but you can have a little party where everybody makes a scarf and, and you put your own dyes in the water and stuff. This kind of reminds me of something like that. So pile that over there. What else do we got? We got these napkins. Now there's four of these. And they're like printed 
with this flower thing. They've got these cute little diamond that you can see through. And then there's a nice crocheted tr trim. I think it's machine crocheted though. But that could come off easy. But it's actually a very nice material. So it might even make a nice like journal cover somehow. I, I don't know. I haven't gave it too much thought. But grab those. They do, I don't think they've been used. I couldn't see any stains on them or anything. Put those up there for now. What else? Here we got. Oh, we got a piece of this ribbon. Nice plaid. And then there's two different colors here. There's this one here, which is red and green. So it'd go good on in like a strawberry journal or something. Oh, looks like these are glued together. And then, oh, there's three. There's this one here, which is reds and greens and and then there is this here one here which is more of a plaid last thing i need is more lace but when you see this stuff you gotta grab it let's bring out all the rest now there's these chopsticks they're like a plastic but i thought those would be really fun in an oriental journal somehow not sure how or you know have to glue them down or you could sew these down as well so grab those from my oriental journal a couple pieces of lay uh, ribbon there's these flowers they're just forever in time so they came from the dollar store but they're a little they're a little bit cute so I grabbed those. I figure oh, I'll be able to use them for something, I'm sure. I'll take them out of this package and whatnot. I got this big key. Now, it's for holding other keys. And I think I'll hang it up. It's actually quite heavy. So I'm thinking maybe it's brass. But I'll put different rings on it here. But I thought that would look quite cute hanging up with maybe some dangles hanging on it or something like that. Now all of these bits, they were all like just loose in boxes and whatnot. So I just threw them in a baggie so that they wouldn't go all over the place. But there is, this is full of little beads. Of some kind I think they're beads yeah there's holes in there so they're like a little bit longer beads we got this here now this was something else it's a horseshoe with a design in the middle and I think it's supposed to be a little picture frame but I thought that would go really great in like a horse or western themed journal now these two I got because I like the boxes. I thought the boxes looked pretty cool. This has lead in it. Now they're big, huge pieces of lead, so I don't know what exactly that lead would get used for. But I thought the box was really cute. And same with this one. This is safety pocket wood matches. But in it is three little hearts like that you would glue down but I thought that box was really really cute what else we got some beads and these are just dollar store ones but when I get stuff like this at the lions I grab it because I just keep throwing stuff in my box and or my bag that I take and Usually I give them 5 to $10 for a bag full of stuff. This here is really cute. It's a little crocheted heart. And then we got a couple of little doilies. They actually look like somebody has cut off of something else. But 
I would cut it up anyway. Got some red beads. And again, these are from the dollar store. But they feel like a glass bead, these ones. <coughs> some other beads. These are like a big seed bead on a string. These are joined together, but I thought, ah, oh, throw them in my bag. <clears throat> this is a part of a belt or a bracelet or something. And I figure that would look kind of cool on the front of a journal, whether, or on a spine, maybe. So that was pretty cool. Here is a handmade necklace just with some bugle beads and seed beads. There's some little bit bigger. They almost look like a stone bead or something. <clears throat> we have a chain that's all tangled up. I don't think this was a necklace. I can't remember. But that's probably going to take a little bit of detangling. So I will play with that later. But it's got a couple cute pieces. It might be a necklace. Oh yeah, the chain goes underneath. So I guess it was a necklace. But a few good pieces there to use. This is like a paper clip. I thought it was kind of cool. Or you could just slip it into a, onto a page or whatever, like so. So there's that. We got this really ugly necklace, <laughs> but these are wooden wooden beads up here. And then I don't know what these ones are. They kind of feel like wood. It's been painted because you can see where all the paint is coming off. So I'm not sure that I would use these, but I thought these might be okay. So I gotta wash these stuff up and whatnot. Here's another one of those license plate things. It says 1968 there. But you used to get these and you'd put them on your key, the TB vet. And so I thought, well, that would be kind of cool on a charm. One single bead. Here's a charm of a boot and a Canadian flag. A little lock with the keys. So I thought that would be fun. You could even lock a chain around a journal or something like that there to use that. An old dice. Here's this star now. It's got a fairly big hole, so I think you put it on the top of a pencil or something. But I thought I might be able to use that for something in a journal. We'll give it a try. A big brooch. Now this is like metal. This is all metal. So it looks like it would be fairly old, but I think cleaned up. I think it would look really cute on the front of a journal. Like hooked on to a scarf if you had a scarf closure or something like that. Another homemade necklace. You know, harvest. They got uh, actually two lobster claws on there. Plus all the beads. This is... Um, MV... Probe and Sigmus BC. So this must have been one of the houseboats or paddle wheel boats that was on Sikamoos Lake at one time. It feels quite heavy duty. So there's that. We got this little bracelet here with a pipe cleaner. Or maybe it's supposed to be a Christmas ornament. But I'll harvest the beads off of that. This, I was really excited to find this. I think this was my find of the day. <clears throat> and it is an old cloth, almost canvassy like tape measure. Now, you don't find the cloth ones very often, that is for sure. And it's all yellowed and 
dirty. I'll, I'll rinse it off by hand. Actually, there's no smell on this at all, so I might not even do that. But that's pretty cool. I'm, I really like that. And then I got another film, which I'll pull. Oh, it looks like this one here has been used. So I wonder what kind of pictures are on there. I'll have to figure out how to get the negatives out of there and see what's on there. There's got to be something. I, I don't know. Maybe there's no film in here. Hmm. Because I always thought when you bought it, there was some sticking out. As well as when you finish the roll off, there was some sticking out. But this has nothing sticking out. So I'll have to look into that and find out. But it kind of feels like there should be something in there. But there's got to be a way to get it out. So a few negatives. So that is what I got today. Lots of goodies. Now I can kind of start putting this away. And I'll start taking those two pieces of clothing apart and getting them to a usable stage. As well as going through all these big envelopes of um, the pattern pieces and find a spot for those to go. But a fun little haul. Um, what is your favorite thing that I got today? I, I'm going to have to say this. I was very excited when I found this. And the trim on here, I'm excited about taking it apart and hoping it's all together like as one piece and not like different layers in there. So we'll find out because I'm going to start that tonight. But that's it for today's Thrifty Connects. Hope you liked it. Check out the links below. Check out the other Thrifty Connects video and all the other videos. Hit like and subscribe and all that. And I really, really appreciate you being here and watching. And we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.